Hello, my name is Tim Lawton. I'm a Member of Parliament in the British Parliament at Westminster and Chairman of the All-Party Parliamentary Group for Armenia. Now, on April the 24th, hundreds of thousands of Armenians will lay flowers around the eternal flame in the Genocide Memorial Complex in Yerevan, which will be one of the numerous ceremonies across the world marking the commemoration of the Armenian Genocide. This year, however, the emotional feelings from the symbolism of the day are much stronger as the pain from the last year's war in Nagorno-Karabakh, in which the Turkish side played a significant role, is too fresh. I would have liked to have been with you in Yerevan uh, this year to show our solidarity. Alas, practical considerations make that uh, impossible. But instead, I will be laying a wreath with members of the Armenian community at the Cenotaph in Whitehall in London. The tragic symbolism is that the invasion in Nagorno-Karabakh in 2020 took place 100 years to the day since the Turks invaded the newly independent Republic of Armenia against the backdrop of the Armenian Genocide. This history matters. On May the 24th, 1915, the Allied governments of Great Britain, France and Russia issued a joint declaration describing the committed atrocities as crimes against humanity and civilization which was the first time ever that the de definition had been aired at such a high level. In 1915, the issue was raised and discussed in both Houses of Parliament in the United Kingdom. And in 1916, thanks to the efforts of two brilliant British historians and diplomats, Sir James Bryce and Arnold J. Toynbee, the collection of eyewitness accounts of the Armenian Genocide was published by the British government in 1916 under the title the Treatment of Armenians in the Ottoman Empire, 1915-16, to also known as the Blue Book, which remains one of the most notable collections of documents and witnesses of the Armenian Genocide. Now, despite all these and many other facts, the British government has yet to acknowledge the Armenian ge Genocide, and I believe that it's time at long last for our government to recognise a century-old outrage in which one and a half million Armenians were massacred by the Ottomans in the first genocide of the modern age, and we will continue to lobby for that in Parliament in the United Kingdom. I'm convinced that in doing so, and by joining other nations who have already recognised it, the United Kingdom will not only ensure that the never again retains its full meaning and significance, but it will also vividly demonstrate global Britain's mission as a force for good in today's world. I'm glad to inform you that I have prepared the Armenian Genocide Recognition Bill to commemorate it through official recognition and remembrance and to put forward recognition of that genocide on a statutory basis in the British Parliament. I hope that there will be considerable support for that measure in both Houses of Parliament, uh, and I will push hard on this in the new session of Parliament, which starts in May. So as a friend of Armenia in the British Parliament, an admirer of the achievements of the vibrant Armenian community in the UK, I want to express my solidarity with Armenia and the Armenian people around the world on this day of remembrance.